Hey Wellness Warriors, as you may have heard or read on social media, I recently started running. This running thing is completely new to me, so I'm learning a lot as I go along. And one of the biggest takeaways is the importance of adding yoga and stretching to my run routine. So typically, that's what I'm going to take you through today. It's a pre-run yoga sequence you can do. It's 10 minutes, so you got time. Make time for it. And then stay tuned for a follow-up video for a post-run sequence that you can do as well. To begin, let's start with the ankles. So just come to standing and start to roll around. You're making circles with the foot, the ankle, and then make sure you switch directions. You can do this for as long as you want, really. I usually do about five rotations on each foot in each direction. And then I'm going to switch. Kind of sort of the same thing. Bothers your toe, you can always have your foot down as well. And then take it the other direction. At the same time, this is also getting your hip moving and mobile. All right, from there, come to the front of your mat. Interlace the hands, press the palms on up, engage the core, and take a side bend over towards the right. Take a deep breath into your left lungs. And then we switch sides. Come on back up over to the left. All right, one of the biggest parts when you're running is your breath. So give yourself lots of space there. You're going to interlace the hands at the small of your back. Soft bend in the knees. Take a forward fold and allow the arms to extend up overhead. Stretching the chest, your shoulders. And release, inhale to a long spine. Probably keep those knees bent. You're gonna step your left foot back, left knee down. Reach the arms up overhead. And once again, once you settle into your low lunge, we're gonna side bend, grab your left wrist, reach up and over towards the right. Allow your hips to sink down to where they will go. And you get a nice stretch all through the front left side of your body. Come on back up on the inhale, hands come on down. You're gonna tuck the left toes under. So take a peek at my left heel. You're gonna take the top of your right foot, right about, I call this the flip-flop, where you'd have a flip-flop on your right foot and press it to the back of your left ankle. So you get a nice stretch to the left calf, the heel, your Achilles tendon. And then keep this, shift forward into a plank. You can either hold this or if you wanna join me, take a push-up. Do a back bend on the inhale. we right back down dog. Again, that's optional. Staying here, you're gonna lift the right leg up. Bring your knee to nose. And then step the right foot near your right hand. Take your right hand inside the right foot and into a lizard lunge. You get options here. You can let that left knee lower down or keep it lifted as I'm doing. But start to make a little bit of movement. If it's circles, if it's going forward and back, Start to open up your hip joint. If you're doing circles like I am, make sure you change directions. All right, and then come on up to your fingertips. Left knee lowers down. Extend your right leg out in front of you, coming into half split or a runner stretch. Appropriately named for this one, huh? <laughs> Let the right toes curl up towards the ceiling. Inhale, long spine, exhale, hinge from your hips to fold. Now, if you are a runner, which probably because you're watching this, this one needs no introduction to you. You know where you're feeling this one. And all along the back of your right leg. All right, you get a little fancy here. Bend your right knee, tuck the back toes under, and you're gonna turn to the left. The toes face slightly in, so they're in line with your heels. And your knees, inhale, long spine, and exhale, fold through center. So you might be up on the hands. Maybe you're with me and you're letting the crown of your head come on down to the mat. Take a deep breath in. And relax in the spine, exhale. I'm rising up to the fingertips, inhale. The left hand, you can tent the fingertips if you need to use a block or your palm can be flat. 
Take the right arm out to the side into a twist. Keep the core engaged. Continue to breathe. Switch sides now. The right hand comes down, left arm to the side. Inhale, notice my hips are level. Keep that. Exhale to twist. Left hand lowers down to the mat. We pivot back to the front and step the left foot up to meet the right. So you're going to stay in this right leg, rise up to standing, and stretch the quads, bend the left knee, grab the top of the foot with your left hand. So get options. You can stay here or reach your right hand behind you, grab the left wrist. And the importance of when stretching your quad that the left knee is tracking straight down towards the mat. A lot of times I see this, you want to have the knee tracking straight down. Heel to the outer left hip if you have that flexibility. And also not to back bend here. You don't want to put it in your low back. It's all core engagement, long spine. And then let's switch sides. The left foot lowers down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. And let's switch. Step the right foot back now. Runner's lunge. Inhale, arms up. Grab the right wrist. And take a side bend. Back to center on the inhale. Hands come on down. Tuck the back toes under. Now we step the left foot to the back of your right ankle or heel. Again, it's that space between your big toe and your second toe. I call it the flip-flop because I'm always in flip-flops, except when I'm running. <laughs> Shift forward into a plank. Get optional, either stay here or a little push-up, a little back bend. Downward dog. Lifting the left leg, inhale. Step the left foot near the left hand. And we work into lizard lunge. So the left hand works inside. Whether this back knee is up or down, keep it there and start to take some circles. So you can almost exaggerate this movement too as much as you would like. If one particular space feels tight or feels good, you can linger there too. And then lower that back knee down, fingertips. Start to extend your left leg. So you can either keep both hands inside the foot or take it out like I did. Left toes will curl up. Maybe you're up on blocks a little bit higher. You can have that too. And then keep breathing, keep smiling. Cause you're about to go for a run. We've in the left knee, let's step forward. Now we do our quad stretch on the other side. So the foot can come down first to stabilize, then grab the top of your right foot. This time it's the right knee tracking straight down. If you find this tricky for your balance, you can use a wall. Right? Don't be afraid to, you don't have to be in the middle of the room like I am. You can go to a wall. You can use a countertop, something to stabilize with your left hand. And release the foot. Inhale, reaching the arms up overhead. Grab for the elbows. I'm going to face you now. Pulse the arms back. Side bend over to the right. Back to center, over to the left. Come on back up. Arms come on down now. Take the right arm out in front of you. You're going to hook your left arm in front of the forearm here. Drop the right shoulder down away from the ear and breathe. And then just switching sides. Left arm comes out in front, right arm hooks it. Y al último, arms by your side. Some neck rolls. We're going to go in both directions. Try and keep your body upright. I hear lots of cracks and pops in mine. <laughs> and shoulders up and down around the ears a couple times. All right, we are warmed up and ready to go for our run. So I'm gonna grab my sneaks, I got my wireless headphones, and my phone, I'm ready to take off fast like a bullet. Peace out for a run. Bye-bye. Mail's here.